Hello, as usual, it's me, Pavlo, and also, as usual, we'll be talking about interesting audio gadget, and uh, today it will be Hybe R3 II. Of course, it's not the second generation of the player, uh, R3 is available on the market, I don't know, since forever, and it's always been uh, a really good offer in terms of uh, price to quality ratio, offering a lot of great uh, software features uh, Hybe is uh, famous for, and uh, it undergo a few updates, because there was R3, R3 Pro, R3 Pro Saber, and now they decided to make a noticeable step forward, at least in uh, terms of uh, naming, and they released R3 Second, uh, and what we've got uh, here, it supports higher MQA unfolding, I don't know, is it a feature nowadays uh, or not, of course, um, uh, different design with volume knob, also uh, they changed it, uh, size a little bit, but just like few millimeters in different directions, so no big change in overall uh, portability and compactness. And also here used 292-19 uh, ESS uh, chips, uh, also it has a higher power up to 380 milliwatts for balanced output, and also improved battery, meaning improved the lifetime, and it's now about 16, up to 16 hours, of course. It depending on usage scenario, gain, load, and so on. Add here compact size, affordable price, about $180. Of course, I will add link uh, to the Hybe store in the description. Also add here well-polished uh, software with tons of features, and still it's one of the best offers in the affordable segment. Maybe even uh, the best one, because a lot of companies just uh, left this segment, uh, switching to dongles, and we don't have a huge selection of uh, players as separate device here. But let's have a closer look. I have uh, high expectations for it, because uh, Hybe is recently releasing really, really successful devices one after another. So let's make a quick unboxing, it won't take uh, much time, because the uh, package is nice, stylish and at the same time uh, pretty minimalistic, so unboxing experience is really pleasant. So good polygraphy with nice combination of textures, papers, you can see that we have some uh, foiled part, uh, some uh, pseudo 3D polygraphy and uh, the rest of the box. On the back side uh, some information, but nothing important. And we go underneath, here is the player itself, and we need to go deeper, and here is the box with accessories inside. We're getting basically bare minimum, so different papers, uh, extra screen protectors, uh, but uh, thanks to Hybe they already pre-applied uh, some screen protectors and actually a nice uh, like uh, gel-like uh, silicone case, which is pretty good uh, starter to use your player. Of course, as usual, there are some leather case or uh, Fox laser case available, but I think this one will be more than enough for many of us. And uh, here is the player itself, let's peel that part away. It's still compact, it fits nicely in hand, like perfect size for perfect grip, and you can see that uh, there is a front uh, uh, protector attached, and on the rear side we've got another protector attached, so I like that because I'm always failing to glue protectors properly. Uh, frame is made of mainly of aluminium, there are three available options, silver, black and red. So matching all necessities. And it's compact, so here is a micro SD slot with pretty solid rubber cover and uh, this player uh, doesn't have any, uh, don't have any onboard memory, and uh, you need to use micro SD cards for storage. On top there is nothing; it's some kind of uh, plastic insert, 
probably because here they put antennas or uh, it's just my guess. Interesting uh, stripe with LED indicator. Here is this uh, novelty knob. It has good clicks for rotation and register cl uh, clicks pretty well. Also, it can be pressed uh, to power player on, off and also use it as a screen lock button. Uh, traditionally for uh, Hybis there are three buttons and I still I'd like this one to be play pause and this two track navigation but they prefer classical schema so forward, backward and this one is play pause. Uh, so and here is Pentacon balanced out, regular phone out and USB type C uh, for charging to use it as digital tunnel converter and all that stuff it supports. So let's see about the screen brightness system brightness 50% let's crack it to maximum then go back and select at least some track for now playing so uh, resolution is uh, 480 by uh, actually I don't remember uh, by 640 probably it's not super high resolution, but it's more than enough for the portable player. It has good viewing angles, pretty nice uh, color uh, uh, saturation, and it's not super bright, but if you cover it, it will be nicely visible under the bright light. And here is LED indicator, you can see it's also not bright, so pretty convenient in everyday usage. So, still one of the best options, greatly pocketable and all that we like in Hybe R3 is preserved here. So let's see how we can pull on this case. Not sure about the correct way to do that uh, because it requires some stretching, pulling. So probably I'll do that uh, of the of the filming and will show it uh, to you in next part. Let's have a quick firmware tour and uh, because I didn't uh, do reviews for the HiBR3 for quite a long time, but uh, I need to admit here that it's the best uh, uh, available UI now and UX for the non-Android devices, at least from all I've tested. Uh, Firmware here is custom built, uh, probably it uh, built on top of some uh, uh, Unix core, but I'm not sure. Here I used Ingenix X1000 processor, so Hybe has experience with it and they implemented really good usability, you know, in terms of scrolling, in terms of uh, registering uh, swipes. In swipes here works as they should, like if you swipe uh, proper amount of distance, also, they have a nice uh, list scrolling, so it has a proper amount of inertia and so on. So, uh, main screen consists of two parts, you can swipe easily between them. One is menu and second is now playing screen. And uh, here on now playing screen we have album cover, it could be a bit bigger probably, a name and uh, artist name. Also here a quick button to add it to favorites. Navigation control and sc scroller to navigate the track. Also here you can change the play order and additional menu where you can see the current playlist. You can add this track to favorites or to some custom playlist, equalizer, uh, see the tracks of current al album, properties and delete this track if you don't like it uh, due to some reasons. Pretty functional now playing screen and from sliding from the top you can get uh, pop-up menu, volume and a few different features, you can customize them. So for now I selected Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, MSEB, Gay plus playback, actually it should be on, high link and uh, sleep timer. And also here you can also quickly navigate tracks, so you can use uh, this menu whatever, when, uh, wherever you like uh, to quickly navigate the tracks. So first button it's uh, music library, as usual there is search, favorites and you can change uh, setting, playback settings here. They 
put uh, playback settings here some why so MSEB let's go back and MSEB is a great feature I really uh, glad that they ported here it's a great way to adjust the sound to your liking uh, changing not like with regular equalizer some bands but operating with easier to understand uh, things like more light bass texture or more deeper bass uh, fast or thumpy and so on also you can get classical linear equalizer update database automatic or manual update play mode selection of output you need to connect something to 3.5 millimeter or pentacon to get it so sometimes swipes working even better than i've expected so gay plus playback uh, remember play position uh, this the output mode and gain compensation M uh, you can uh, limit volume output to some uh, volume and uh, also should it remember power on volume also crossfade not sh i'm not sure why it's necessary here but anyway gain low or high replay gain nice feature to equalize the tracks uh, volume if you listen to some compilation channel balance and digital filter play through folders and through albums repeat if you need the uh, speed up playback and auto slide to playback interface when you select something it will go to the now playing screen also here list of all your tracks files albums artists genres and album artists everything works as you can expect there is uh, uh, mass editing feature for each track you can delete add to playlist or you can select uh, some of them so all that features you've used to you can use here stream media now is limited to tidal and cobus when wi-fi is active so you need to connect to wi-fi so while it's connecting i will keep talking uh, it's a fully fun functional Tidal and Cubus clients, but they don't support offline and uh, their functionality is a bit limited as well as interface. And uh, good addition they've added some time ago is that you don't have to type your login and password using uh, limited keyboard. You can uh, scan this uh, QR code and log in on your uh, smartphone. Then wireless bluetooth wi-fi you can turn on off so all that things connect to new devices select network to connect as you saw all that traditional things and in the bluetooth let's turn it on you can select this device name it can work as a receiver of course uh, you can select which uh, codec you would like to use also, uh, Hybe's own UAT is present. If you have some there Bluetooth devices, it's a nice thing to have. Bluetooth volume adjustment, search devices, pairing and available, so all that things. Also, Hybe link that allows you to control this device remotely from your smartphone, for example. DLNA, AirPlay and import music via Wi-Fi. Not super fast, it supports only Wi-Fi 2.4, but uh, to add... Uh, some tracks uh, in a fast way it can be pretty uh, good it's actually also working really nice as bluetooth transmitter giving you a good range and as well as receiver there is a built-in book reader i'm not sure how useful is this functionality i will be uh, glad if you add some comments about that will you be using it or not but uh, as usual i think that it's better to have some feature and don't use it than not to have it and someone will need it uh, about is just simple you can uh, join for example their facebook and so on and uh, system settings uh, there is a plenty of different settings language uh, brightness uh, backlight time you can select uh, sim color you can change it uh, you can activate it and uh, it will use it for the interface and stuff. If you be boring with the uh, current interface, you can uh, activate it. You can see that accent color changed here. Also, you can select font size. I prefer big because it's 
easier to tap captions here. USB mode uh, and uh, USB device mode, storage and automatic limit current, uh, USB digital control, uh, converter feedback, uh, time settings, idle timer, sleep timer, uh, to show battery percentage or not, standby mode, inline remote, LED indicator, double tap to wake up, so lot of useful features here, button operations when screen is locked and volume operation when screen is locked. Uh, here you can customize this drop down menu with shortcuts and select should it be drop down or pop up. Uh, screen saver settings, uh, screen rotation if you need, restore, firmware update and certification information. So as you can see, they managed to pack tons of features into pretty compact device. And of course about the sound, uh, to make uh, frame look better, let's put some nice, not really expensive earphones here. And let's talk about the sound. And you know, actually 9219 is a great chip, uh, Hybe used here good crystal oscillators to, uh, to fight with jitter. They created uh, good firmware and they just do everything to reach the maximum potential of this uh, chip. And uh, for this segment it offers really good sound. Of course, comparing with something more expensive, uh, we can get a lot of things. And uh, as a slight reminder, Hybe actually released great player of higher segment. It's Hybe R6 Pro 2. I reviewed it some time ago. But uh, it's that rare case when player overperforms its value by a noticeable amount, at least in my opinion. So uh, if you haven't seen, uh, check out my review. But let's go back here. I will try not to go into nitpicking uh, because it's really good sounding player with nice control, uh, plenty of power. So, you know, it's like uh, do good, you'll get good. Uh, and uh, but I will try to like to explain what you get with more expensive players. It's not the drawbacks of this exact player, it's just what you get going to no more higher segment. So base is well controlled, it goes to a nice depth, almost maximum. Uh, it has a nice resolution, not superb like with more expensive models, but really nice resolution to give you good texturing to showcase that uh, small nuances and details of some timber rich instruments. And uh, at the same time it has plenty of control and a hint of added weight, so when it's necessary to give you like uh, pump, to give you rumble and stuff, this player will deliver it. Not like uh, overperforming here or overpowering you with bass, but sounding pretty nice. That slight uh, accent uh, in terms of weight makes things a bit more full bodied, but not too much, so it just gives a bit of excitement. But at the same time, it doesn't make uh, low frequencies slower or like uh, sloppier. And nice example. Oh, it went to sleep already. So, need to change this 5 minute settings because sleeping in 5 minutes it's just too far. It's great for preserving battery, but for the review purposes, of course, we need a bit more time. So, example here is uh, Enter Sandman by Metallica, and I really wonder did they already change the album cover of this album? Most likely they do it many ways ago, and now just trying to make everyone forget the original cover, but uh, music material of course is great. Metallica probably did a step towards more pop music uh, in 1991, but still it was um, one of their pinnacle albums in terms of reception. And of course that uh, opening track Enter Sandman is masterpiece, one of the best uh, guitar riffs here. and. Uh, uh, I selected it as, as example of bass because they use uh, like really deep heating uh, drums. Uh, with, uh, they use it to make uh, like music more disturbing, more deeper, and uh, like uh, to give you a bit sense of uh, fear because infra bass sometimes give us that emotion. So they try to highlight it. And 
also they of course uh, uh, finally stop uh, uh, stop harassing uh, Jason and give him a bit of uh, freedom so bass line here is also really nice and both drums and bass are represented really well by this player giving you a nice sense of control mid frequencies are like uh, you know nothing to say bad they are not stellar, but like really good. Of course, uh, with more expensive player, you'll get better dynamic, you'll get uh, more emotion extraction. Sorry, I'm watching too lot of videos about coffee makers la uh, last few days, so <laughs> give you better emotions. Uh, but uh, still, this one will definitely deliver it, uh, deliver everything that is present in the track. Uh, and with good resolution, of course not like super detailed, but resolution is really nice, you definitely won't be missing any viable uh, nuances, it just won't be highlighted. And uh, vocal is nice, instruments are great, uh, and uh, it has uh, enough of potential to play with different earphones, like uh, probably up all the middle segment of IEMs will be good for it, it has enough of uh, control and to deliver uh, good sound to show their potential. Imagery stage not huge, but above average, and like I'd call it uh, sufficient stage. It's not definitely not on the smaller side of things, but at the same time not exaggerated. Instruments have a proper uh, amount of uh, size and they're distributed really well in width. In depth it's also pretty okay, but I'd like a bit more fluent transitions between that uh, depth layers. And so let's go for example and example for the mid frequencies is like uh, one of the greatest pieces of music uh, uh, ever created and it's uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber, Jesus Christ Superstar, Gethsemane and I only want to say, and of course it's the original version with Ian Gillan and he just uh, blowing uh, uh, listeners mind showing what uh, he can do. And uh, really saturated vocal with tons of emotions, great, uh, uh, great accompanying music, you've heard it, you know what I'm talking about. Of course, to show the full potential of that, you'll need much more expensive device, but uh, for this price, I'd say that it delivers more than enough emotions and other stuff, so really good option here. And uh, treble, it's like, you know, mm, uh, it's it has good extension, it has uh, nice attacks in the case, so not superb, but uh, also sufficient detailization. Uh, even basic layering in, in treble is present here, so if you'll get some earphones with good treble layering, you will experience it. Not to the full extent, but at least you'll get an idea of <laughs> what I'm talking about. Uh, it just put a bit less energy to the treble compared to like uh, more natural players, and it makes treble, you know, it's, it, it's not uh, becoming softer, it's not becoming like uh, subdued, uh, but it's just a bit less energetic, but at the same time giving good overtone saturation. Extension is not maximum, but above average, so somewhere between average and maximum, like three-fourths of treble extension, something like that, of course, I'm kidding here. So, treble is not the strongest part of this player, but it's also a noticeable improvement over the previous generations. Uh, maybe it's uh, Hybe did something to improve it, maybe it's also impact of uh, better system on chip. Uh, anyway, it's really nice uh, treble. And final example, it's Led Zeppelin, since I've been live in you. And you probably get an idea of uh, why this track is here. It's vocal that goes to the treble area, guitars, uh, all that guitar solos and all that crescendo that this track has. Uh, it it like put a lot of uh, things into the, into the treble area. 
Of course, uh, player doesn't show the full potential, but still it's really enjoyable and listenable. But, of course, there is a room to grow <laughs> with higher priced uh, devices. In terms of pairing, it's uh, pretty decent, I'd say. It has good black background, so it's not an issue with sensitive in-ear monitors. And for the balanced output, it can drive like uh, pretty power-hungry cans. Maybe not like uh, tough to drive planars, but efficient planars won't be an issue for it. And the vast majority of dynamic drivers, drivers too. Even including uh, like higher impedance models. Speaking about the comparison, so uh, let's try to do it kind of simpler. Uh, it overperforms uh, like that small players, Shenling M0 and uh, Hybe R2, uh, new versions that I also reviewed recently, mainly because of higher power, better control, so it gives you like more dense, uh, uh, more saturated sound. And uh, speaking about Shanling's, uh, what was it, M1S or M M0 was Pro and M1 was M1S, they are pretty uh, close in terms of over overall representation, but Shanling being even a bit more on the warmer side of things, while this one is a bit closer to neutrality, so it's uh, my subjective choice because I prefer natural sound. And uh, stepping higher, for example, you can get uh, Shenling M3 Ultra, which is really good offer in this uh, in that segment, or like uh, a bit more affordable uh, TempoTech uh, player. TempoTech is more focused on the micro contrast; it's more natural and brighter. And Shenling is already like next step forward in terms of dynamic emotions and other stuff. So player fits really great into this price tire. It will be superb option for you if you need something on the go, for example, if you need something to work as Bluetooth transport, uh, or if you need uh, like a device for different interesting uh, usages like uh, digital transport uh, or something like that. So it has uh, tons of uh, great features, including even streaming. It has uh, convenient uh, UI and UX, which will be even improved in the future, because Hybe always does that. It's compact, it's really nicely sounding, uh, it has a good amount of power, so from all uh, perspectives I think it's still the best compact player on the market. Thank you for listening, thank you for your attention, and of course have a great day.